Pastor Aaron. This is Redeemer Lutheran's Midweek Devotion. Thanks for joining us. I'm continuing with those misquotes that I hear, and this week I'm dealing with this one. God just wants us to be happy. God wants me to be happy. Again, that's not in the Bible. But is there some truth to that? Well, perhaps if we read Psalm 68, verse 3, it says, but may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Sure sounds like God wants us to be happy. But how does God want us to be happy? He wants us to be happy in our relationship with him, to find our joy and, our, and happiness in the peace that he has worked in our relationship with him through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus. God promises that with him we can always have peace and we can always have joy knowing that we're going to be with him forever in a place far better than the one we live in right now. But does that mean we're always going to be happy? No, you're not always going to be happy. In fact, what Jesus tells us is this. He says, now is your time of grief, but I will see you again and you will rejoice and no one will take away your joy. So there is going to be a time for grieving, as Jesus says and as Solomon says in the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time to be sad. Sad things happen. So you're not always going to be happy, but you can always have the joy that is Jesus in your heart, and that makes sad days bearable. Now I do have to add one other thought, and that's this, that if you use the expression, God just wants me to be happy as an excuse to go living a sinful lifestyle, or to do what you want to do rather than what God wants you to do, then you're not living in a peaceful relationship with God. You're rebelling, you're sinning against him, and God promises no happiness for people, no joy for people who, who despise the peace that he has worked between them and him. So let's not use that as an excuse to sin. God sees right through that. And then let's understand that even as children of God, there are going to be times when, because we live in a sinful world, we're still going to have some sad and unhappy times. That's just going to happen. But remember Jesus' promise. He says this. He says, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Yes, he has. His death on the cross and his glorious resurrection, he has overcome sin, devil, and death, all the horrible things of this life. And he promises that even though you die, you will live again. You will live in per perpetual joy and peace with him forever in a home that he has prepared for you. Let that be a source of joy in your heart this week, even if your days may not always be happy, but sad. Have a great week.